question has two parts. Do you want me to read both or one at a time? Uh, one at a time, please. Thank you. Dear Giuliano, I understand that having implants and chips in our bodies can leave negative impacts on our mental, physical, and emotional health. What are the most important points to know and do about them for a GOF member? I think the most important point to understand about implants from our perspective is that they have been placed in your energy field against your will. You can look at the implant as a program and you can compare it to other psychological programs that you may have inherited from your mother or your father. However, there is a big difference. And that difference is that the implants are coming from an external source beyond this world, beyond this planet, even sometimes beyond this dimension. And so the implant is a violation of your free will. The implant is a violation of your freedom because the implant is placed by uh, beings external to your family, your society, and often has been done by fourth dimensional beings such as the greys. The implant has been placed for helping these people, these fourth dimensional beings. They're not there for your benefit. They are there for their benefit. And I think that's the most important thing for people to understand about implants. You might make the argument that there is a possibility of positive implants, which I think is the next part of the question, but uh, we will wait for that. But I, I want to address that issue because you would think, well, maybe you can have positive implants. But we're talking about a technology that is being misused. You already have the fears of artificial intelligence, which, by the way, is the forerunner of negative implants. Because the artificial intelligence has the ability to uh, develop, or the artificial technology has the ability to develop these implant chips that can be put into your brain. And uh, they could control your behavior in various ways. Now, you might say, well, somebody's going to be uh, commit a criminal act, then this implanted chip could prevent that, and that would uh, be a good thing. And on, theoretically, on paper, it may look like a good thing. But we are talking about a very complex system and making an intervention like this in your system it carries great ethical and spiritual problems. Uh, I could even compare it to a genetic mod modification because ge genetic modification 
on the one hand, may look, look very positive, but on the other hand, think about what the idea was in Nazi Germany, where everybody that was in control wanted to have this certain Aryan race. And if they had the ability, they would have produced genetically people who were blonde and blue-eyed and had certain characteristics that were in alignment with their with the existing political uh, agenda. And this comes back to my uh, description of spirituality versus science or uh, uh, technology. The technology of implants is so connected to artificial intelligence and it's so close, but the spiritual development of humanity is not up to date to handle the many ethical problems and questions that uh, implants uh, can present as problems at this time. Okay, you can read the next part of the question. Could you please tell us if there are positive etheric implants or are these implants placed to solely disrupt us and our past? If there are any, could you please give some examples of positive ones? Well, you see, the implants, by definition, are done... Uh, against or without your knowledge and against your will. That's the nature of the implant. So just based on that, I would say that there is a, a limited uh, positive outcomes because we, we are limiting or interfering in the uh, free will uh, of a person. And so our definition of implant then is, again, done by an external source without the knowledge of the person and interfering in your ability of free will. And under those circumstances, I would uh, say that this is not, does not have the potential for a positive experience. Now, we could talk about downloading programs, which I think are possible, especially when we talk about affirmations uh, and uh, certain other ideas, such as the ascension, or uh, such as uh, working for a spiritual uh, evolution, or such as uh, working for the development of Homo Omega. But we we are not encouraging this through implants. We are encouraging this through the arcane thought powers and creations of these special programs that uh, are possible through meditations, but also are done with free will. You choose a file, so to speak. Now, this has been manifested in modern psychotherapy, that is, the downloading of new programs. And it's not an implant, but what it is can be described as, quote, the uh, person becomes aware of the program, and in most cases a negative program, unquote, that was given or interjected in the person's psyche and in the person's subconscious. And by becoming aware of that program, you have the ability to change it or replace it with a new program. But see, this is not an implant, but this is a revision 
and uh, a downloading of a new program done with your free will. And that's how I would describe the more uh, up-to-date and healthy process for shifting your consciousness and for creating uh, new action plans and new programs that are in higher alignment with your expanded consciousness and with the fifth dimension.